सो द फर्स्ट पार्ट वेरी सिंपल वर्ड्स बेसिकली प्राइवेट इक्विटी इज कैपिटल फ्रॉम अ प्राइवेट इन्वेस्टर दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड प्राइवेट इक्विटी इट इज नॉट पब्लिक इक्विटी पब्लिक इक्विटी इज वेर यू गो टू आई मार्केट्स आई पी एंड एवरीबडी पुल्स इन सम इक्विटी दैट इज पब्लिक सो दिस इज नॉन पब्लिक इज प्राइवेट इज वेर एन इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर कम्स इन एंड हेल्प्स एन अर्ली स्टेज कंपनी और अ मिड स्टेज कंपनी टू ग्रो टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल दैट इन सिंपल टर्म्स इज प्राइवेट इक्विटी अलॉन्ग विथ कैपिटल अ लॉट ऑफ एडवाइस हैंड होल्डिंग कम्स विथ uh in the capital so that is basically in very simple words private equity there are a lot of misunderstandings obviously you know people in uh, people think that you know private equity is very easy you know it's like buy side and you know uh, it uh, it it's very easy you know you go just go and you just chill you don't have to work like investment bankers etc which to an extent is true that we don't spend so many hours as an investment banker does in office uh, however the fact is that private equity is a business where it it is with you even on the weekend in your mind everywhere because you are actually involved with so many businesses you are sitting on the board of so many businesses you continuously are getting calls from the promoters that today in this in my business this has happened or whatever so it is very on ground kind of a business as opposed to an investment banking job where you are generally making presentations and once the deal is done it, nobody cares so it's basically 2020 and test cricket if you have to compare that is the basic difference between private equity and so that's the mis- that's the misunderstanding it's not 2020 it's not one day it's test cricket you have to be there like i have been for 8 and a half years working day in day out with each of my portfolio companies it helps smaller level of companies grow there are stages of a company where a banks will never take a call they say that right? it's too small for me to fund or you don't have a land and building so you know that that company is never going to get funded by a, a, a traditional institution a private equity believes in the idea believes in the strength of the business model and backs it with funds to let it grow and after that then all these banks and etc come and approach it as a customer so that's how it helps the entire financial services play because you know once we have proved that it can really work that's when everybody else comes to you know to the party basically in very simple words private equity itself is spread across like two three asset classes one is like clearly early early stage which is like the angel space angel and seed round then the second is the venture capital and the third is the private equity so basically private private equity is also late stage private so if you see the warburgs and the big kkrs blackstone they are in the late stage and then there are a lot of uh, angel like mumbai angel network etc and in vc space you have mayfield you have kalari you have, and so on and so forth so what has happened in the last few and last few years is that india has not really generated a lot of returns the money that has been made by the pe vc industry has not been really good and to an extent the reason for that has been that when the valuations were going up when the economy was doing well you know people were just doing deals at any valuations and everybody just thought that it is just about investing and the money will automatically come so the operational involvement and the hand holding of the business was just not there so the reality has sunk in in the last 3 4 years people have seen that nobody is really exiting and making some uh, good returns lot of funds are you know kind of struggling lot of funds have already shut shop in fact so things have happened so based on that now what is the future like if you see big the big boys are still doing very mature companies so that kind of has not really changed but in this uh, angel to Uh, early stage piece what has changed is that people are becoming very focused these are the sectors we will target this is the deal size we will do so a lot of discipline is now coming in they're saying and when they are going and raising the fund from their lps which is the pension funds or other wealth managers because they are going to ask the tough questions which is where they very clear that now we will stick to our strategy will be disciplined and uh, well, this is the way we'll function we'll never deviate from the core which had happened in the past so that is one trend and second thing which is going to happen is lot of control deals are going to take up like in india very few management buyouts and all were happening but in the next 10 years we see a lot of transactions where 50% or more of the stake will be bought by fund so buyout funds are going to be big 
because slowly the indian family business is you know getting into this that okay it's okay for me to move on let a professional management come in so buyout funds are going to see a lot of growth in the next 5 to 10 years